Alright guys, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. <clears throat> I think we're going to try something. This may... This may... Fail. And you may never even see this episode. Just saying. We are going to take a loan. We're going to take a hundred thousand dollar loan. Eighteen hundred bucks a day. Yes. All right. I don't think I have any skill points. No. All right. So <clears throat> now. We're going to buy ourselves a truck. Um, I do not have the skill to buy online. We have identified the Freightliner, Peterbilt, and Kenworth. Um, Um, yeah, so I can't, I'm not a trusted, you have to own three trucks. We're going to visit the dealership. Sure. All right. And then the other thing is that I do not even have the skills and or experience um, to put a sleeper on our cab now I'm going with Freightliner I'm, I'm gonna stick with it <clears throat> because it was our first it was the truck of choice and quite honestly I, I like I'm literally not going to change hardly anything um, we may change a paint job just for the sake of it but we are out to make money. Um, first and foremost. So for us to be doing a bunch of crazy stuff makes zero sense. Um, I may go. like that interior um I'm like such a wheel and tire guy it's it's just ridiculous. I am nuts. Hub hub cover. You know what, I, I'm just not going to, I'm just not going to, list price, <coughs> 117, um, actually the rears should be the same as the fronts.
So we're just going to do that. 118,000. We're going to buy this truck. Holy crap. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, available level 13, available level 9. I, I can't do any of this stuff. I'm going black because I like it. We'll go with the better wheels. Or the better tires. Uh, what happened? Standard wide paint. Standard wide paint. Standard wide paint. Standard wide paint. Black. Android paint black confirm that's all we're gonna do we're gonna buy this truck holy crap thank you for buying your first truck from this okay now so let's need I need two grand a day Okay, nice. We've got our workshop. We've got our truck. Day jobs. There she is, the black beauty. Now, let's go back and look at a recruitment agency. Is this the only one we have? Moab. All right, so hire a driver. Dude, we got one dude. You don't have any slots available for a new driver. Please upgrade one of your garages to Are you serious? <clears throat> I can't hire this dude. Please upgrade one of your garages. Alright. Where's my garage? Alright, so then... Select a garage 
from the right side to view its details. Garage slots. You don't have enough money. Minimum 180 is required. Oh my goodness. Get hired as a professional driver, no fuss, everything is provided for you, just pick a job and drive. Load the rate freight, deliver safe and sound. Earn money for your own company using your own truck. The harvester. I don't know that I can do that. So we're learning here. Okay, well that one. Let's try that. We'll see what happens. I don't know what I'm doing. No, I don't want to do that. Don't damage our own truck for crying out loud. Well, my settings change. Um, what are my wipers? Well, that makes sense. <coughs> it makes total sense. Um, Beeping. We want to go straight here. All right, guys. So, yep. I do have head tracking set up. Let's turn right on red. Because that's the way it works. So we're driving our own truck here. 
Um, I honestly don't know. I don't know what that means. Sorry. That beep is throwing me off. Interstate I-80. Um, actually, are we turning? We're going off here? Apparently. So, yeah, got head tracking set up, but oh lord, it's different. Coming over, bro. green light. <coughs> Why are you beeping at me? Why are you beeping at me? Make me nervous. Yeah, so see how it goes on this head tracking thing. Seems a bit weirdish. So I didn't know how this would work. Um, you have to... drive to pick up your jobs, which makes complete and total sense. 
that must be somebody getting close. There must be sensors on this truck with regard to <coughs> traffic. go here, I guess. <coughs> What's up, good buddy? The old Walbert. To pick up our load, apparently. Never done this before, ever, in my entire life, by the way. But somehow there's got to be a designated trailer for me to pick up somewhere. Not seeing it. Uh, right here. All right. Okay. Enter. <coughs> Earn money for your company using your own truck. Load the freight. Deliver it safe and sound. Okay, so this was it, right? Trailer is ready. Proceed to the loading area. Head towards the green flag. I see. I think. I see. Is it going to be flashing? Um, is it that one there? Okay. Is that a double? Bro, you giving me a double on my first trip? Seriously? What are the weird sounds? So here's our rig. I like it. I feel like we need a carburetor adjustment. Like, bro, what are those weird sounds? Okay, 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 stop. T. You hear those, n those weird sounds? And... Suddenly... Head tracking is not working. <clears throat> um, enable head tracking. So when you leave,
when you leave the can the the you know what I'm saying when you leave the cab enable head tracking hmm. So does it work? Holy nuts, do I got a load and a half. So head tracking is not working, of course, as would be expected. because that's the way it rolls for me even though I just assigned you can see it like get guilty there it's trying to do it um... give me one sec now it's working yeah like I <coughs> hoy vey alright it's working again woohoo I don't know what's going on Know what, I'm, know what I mean? Uh, I just know we have like a 5,000 long, meter long um, trailer that we're hauling for the first time with our new truck. Now supposedly, I've been told for somebody who drives um, for UPS, that these double wide trailers, <coughs> double length tandem trailers, they uh, track pretty well. Truth be told, like the back trailer is within feet, like a, a foot or two, of the <coughs> front trailer. maybe we'll find that out so 369 mile trip um, and we got a green light continue to bear with the old wolf as we learn how to play this game how to drive a truck how to get our settings set properly <clears throat> and all the jazz get over a sickness yeah we just the odds are stacked against us may the odds forever be in your favor green light So we need 180 grand to upgrade our shop to enable us to hire <coughs> a driver to make money for the loan that I just took out to buy this truck when I could have continued to not own a vehicle and just drive for somebody else. Yep. But hey, who doesn't want to have their own rig, right? You know what I mean? I'm not turning here. <coughs> Everybody wants their own rig. It is kind of nice to be able to look around a little bit, see the surroundings. The head tracking 
Head so head tracking. I'm using my webcam. Uh, free software called AI Track that works in conjunction with Open Track. Um, only because I found a YouTube video and it said that was the way to go. And so far, I'm pretty well pleased. Um, but what I'm coming to realize, or what I came to realize, is that <coughs> Open Track and AI Track is very much about getting your settings set so that you um, are not too sensitive to just your normal head movements as you're sitting here playing the game. Ooh. Excuse me. I'm freaking tired. Okay, well that that is completely new. Sorry, buddy. Um, where is my tired meter? <coughs> This truck may not have the power to pull tandem trailers. We are maxing out at 50, <coughs> 50 miles an hour. So, great. Great. I can't sleep because I don't have a sleeper cap. Um, this is the first time Vehicle offense, 480 bucks. Like, what was my offense? I wasn't in the right lane? Then what do I do in terms of sleeping? I feel you, bro, but I don't know what to do about it. one mile so the question would be can I go to the map while driving all right and then I'm gonna have to get off there and sleep And I don't even know how that works. <coughs> We're going to see. Um, way station bypass. Please pull in, of course.
Welcome to Wyoming. This is probably it. You're getting tired. I I know. I know. I know. I I found a place. I found a place. It's just a few miles up the road. Oh, it's right here. So, am I getting off of this exit? Is there an exit right here? Stop at the truck scales ahead. Okay. Evanston I-80. So, interesting story. It's a very short one. I live right along I-80. Yep. In the grand old state of Pennsylvania. I-80 runs right through the center of Pennsylvania. <coughs> now, I'm getting off here. I don't know if this is where I intended to get off, but I'm going to rest. I'm yes, yes, bro. There are places to sleep here. This trip is going to cost me. Okay. All right. So let's let's park it up. I feel like I can't park it up because I'm a double wide. And I'm going to be on the road. Press the Following key to rest. Now, I'm probably not going to oh I'm probably not going to make this trip am I Why is my GPS telling me to go around this way? It's not. It's not telling me to go around this way. It's not. All right. <clears throat> do I not need to get do I not need to go this way? It's telling me to go. Okay. I don't know what's going on, man. All I know is that I'm probably slept and then like I have to get to my delivery. Okay, so here we are. 
back to the way station. Dudes, am I gonna make it? Like, seriously? Like, how many... I still got 300 miles, 4 hours and 56 minutes. It's 9.43 p.m. And... Why do I sometimes feel like I hear an airplane buzzing a, buzzing the tower or something? I need more beer. <coughs> so, did I just never sleep ever? Or is this a feature I'm only first experiencing? because I own my own truck. That is the question that I have. And I don't know when I'm expected to be here for my job delivery. I feel like I know I'm going to arrive at 2.48 a.m. <coughs> and 2.48 a.m. is 4 hours and 24 minutes from now. But what time is the job due? And how do I figure that out? Why doesn't it tell me just in this HUD? And it's like, here we are on another night trip. Wasn't it a night trip last time? I think my sleep schedule's off. There's a flyover airplane in my ears. <coughs> there it goes again. Camera somewhere. Little America. Just reading road signs. <coughs> yeah, so, I don't know. Let's stay in the left, right lane. I'm trying to get better at muting my microphone whenever I cough. See why? See why? See why I mean.
heading into a tunnel. Sorry, dude. I know I came over a little bit. Didn't mean to. There's Donut Planet again. Gotta love that. <coughs> Cheyenne, Cheyenne, Wyoming. I know I have no idea um, once I start yawning how long I have to uh, like pass out and crash and burn I, I don't know the answer to that question so maybe I could have made this <coughs> 300 mile trip sleepy I'm not sure about that. Understanding my dash um, what do you call that? Not a navigation, but your dash indicator system down there. <coughs> I think there's a name for that. I'm getting about five point six MPGs on this trip. Forty seven miles to go, Creston Junction. I think we've gone two hundred and sixty two miles on this trip. Sixty five degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what those people were going so slow for. Just to maybe double check to see if I'm paying attention. Question mark? I just know that I'm coming back over, bro. Wyoming. Casper. <coughs> Cheyenne. I'm just calling out names that I recognize. That's all.
be really nice to be driving in the daytime. We're gonna have to figure that out. <coughs> we may have to sleep more to get into the daylight. But now we're like several hundred miles from headquarters. Which that's the life of a trucker, right? Um, we're gonna have to try to find some place to get a route back to Salt Lake City, I think. Is that where we reside? Salt Lake City? Utah? I should know more. I, I should pay more attention. Play closer attention to what the heck I'm doing. Now we will not do a difficult back in <coughs> for this tandem trailer situation. I got to think it's just not easy to back up tandems. Although maybe tandems are like regular trailers. Maybe they are not like articulated trailers that that's probably the case, actually, that I think about it. <coughs> Do you even get the option? I don't remember. Man, we are down to like a quarter of a tank of fuel. Or half a tank of fuel. Ah, the life of ownership. Buy a truck, they say. It'll be great. Mm-hmm. Be an independent. Be an independent driver. It'll be great. Nine miles out, we're going to be getting off the interstate here soon. <coughs> I would think. I'll be happy if I don't smash up my own truck. That'll be success. Whoa, 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 bro. Oh, and you're going to pass me on the right, are you? Yep. <coughs> I see how you are. There are words for people like you. I have words for people like you.
Yeah, we can see the old exit coming up. Grand Junction? <coughs> Is that where we're going? Gerard Grand Avenue, maybe? Push mark. Oh, okay. The old tuck truck tipping sign there. Oh, oh, oh. Don't hit anything. You got a brand new truck. Location is on the GPS, ladies and gentlemen. We have almost made it. Let us just take a moment of silence for our first ever trip on our first owned truck. five miles on this trip so far. Police Ossifer there. Try not to take him out. Yeah, there ain't no way we're going to make any attempt to park this sucker. Enter. We'll, we'll take this because we can drive straight in. Sure, I'll do that. <coughs> little XP bonus. We should be able to swing that. No pun intended. Plenty of room there to get straightened up, I think. Well, no, dude, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna skip it now. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, so 
we didn't lose anything in terms of taking a long time. Apparently we didn't need to Uh, apparently we had plenty of time. I, I don't recall. I should I should remember this. Let's continue. Um, <coughs> now that I'm a truck owner. I think fuel economy is going to be important for us. From now on, you can purchase your own trailers and upgrade or paint them to match your truck. Your trailers can be stored in your chosen garages. They can be used by your drivers to increase profits. To manage your trailers, use the trailer manager. Okay. Alright. New trucks. Upgrades available. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can do fancy stuff, which I don't want to do. I can do a big horsepower upgrade. <coughs> Alright, there's the rig. Look at this baby, huh? We own our own freaking truck, man. That's cool. Level 5. Uh, $52,000 on our way to 188 the old Freightliner Cascadia. Uh, but it's a good starting truck, I think. Why, you know, like, sure. Sure. Next goal, unlock a trailer up, or a garage upgrade so we can hire our own drivers. That's the next goal. So we're going to be driving this beast around making money and we will see how quickly we can get up to 180 grand. But if you enjoyed the episode, leave me a like, leave me a comment. We will be back here again very soon for another episode of American Truck Simulator. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you on the next one. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.